everyone. I'm going to share about Centaur SRE. Uh, OK, a little bit of context. When there are alerts, this is Datadog. So Datadog is a monitoring tool. Typically, what folks do is you'll go through the monitor body, you'll go through run books, figure out what queries to run, and that takes a lot of time. And there are a lot of other tools that sort of say, OK, we're just going to figure it out for you, uh, which is also kind of hard to do. And we find that uh, my team specifically, we want something in the middle. We want folks to be able to just get the right information at the right time. So I built Centaur SRE. And what it does is it'll actually kick off an investigation. So in this case, you'll put in the actual monitor ID. And what, it, what it'll do is and I, I'll kick off the investigation. But I'll also just show, share one because it takes a little bit of time. But what it's doing is actually deciding what queries to run, what logs to, to actually get, and put it all in one place. So you have the context of I've actually dumped the run books that we have internally. I've actually dumped the entirety of the Google <laughs> SRE handbook, which is pretty big, but it does fit, which is really cool. Um, and then based on that information, it decides not only what information to query, but also what visualizations to actually use in that situation. So in this case, you know, this is a Kafka uh, process. There's a consumer lag here. There's queue size over time. And these are actually the logs that are running on this service uh, that are in the warning state. In addition, uh, a lot of tools kind of have this, but based on information, I just asked Llama to effectively act as a staff SRE, and what was the next steps you would use uh, here. So what I am pretty excited about is any one of these players, they, any moderate or large size organization, they're across observability platforms. So can we actually query across them and then put it all in one place? So that's what I think is pretty interesting here. Uh, I'll pause for questions. I used to work at New Relic, so this problem is actually very interesting to me. Um, but I was wondering, like, especially around Kafka uh, monitoring, how do you put in context for the query uh, for the AI to do all the queries? What the architecture of the system looks like, especially for Kafka, if there's multi-tenant Kafka, it's very important when you're doing the queries, like what to query, right? So how do you shove in that context? I'll be fully transparent. I just dumped the context to Llama. And it kind of figures out what representation it needs. Is it a bar chart? Is it a line chart that is segmented out? Uh, it decides what it needs based on the stream that's coming in. So if it's querying Datadog, you're given an array and you're given a breakout. So it's actually just consuming that and deciding. Wait, what is getting ingested from Datadog, for example? It's just an API call. It's an API call to the metrics API or an API call to the logs API. Uh, so how do you determine what queries to run? Because for stuff like Kafka, it's very, very like complex, right? Especially if you have like multiple like yeah. replicas, right? Uh, in this case, it uses the run books, and the run books may have links in them already and like predefined queries. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't have that, it'll actually just almost like a best guess of what query to run based on the schema of like the API itself, which is just function calling. Um, just zooming out a bit from that question. Sure. Once you click investigate, what are the overall steps in the pipeline? Um, all the way till the uh, final output with the graphs and the insights and probably actionable steps? Yeah. Um, the pipeline is effectively step one is you dump a monitor link. So query the monitor itself. And the monitor has a minor context. And then second is the monitor body may have links within itself. So you may have dashboard links. But based on the monitor context and based on the actual alerting metrics, um, this is the part where I'm kind of trusting Llama for, for, via function calling of, OK, now I've asked Llama, pull, here's a set of APIs. We've got like the service health API. We've got the logs API. Based on this service itself, decide what to call and retrieve more information. And then with all that context, and then the added context of the SRE book, it's like, OK, now give me some next steps. What would be the best next steps for this incident or this alert? OK, so it prepares a plan and then goes ahead and executes the steps that it comes up with? This is not an execution platform. It can be. Um, you can probably invoke maybe cloud commands to say, OK, scale up instances. Right now, this is not what it does, but okay. that's a, a clear next step. Okay. Just one quick follow up on that. Uh, you mentioned that La you're trusting Llama's decision making yeah. over here. How are you factoring the, uh, the SRE no handbook or the information in that handbook to make this decision? Uh, Full transparency, I'll just show. I just dumped the entirety as part of context. And it's just, it's just in the context itself. And it's using it as just context for decision making. So first of all, this is really good, OK? Uh, so interesting that you solved this problem. But uh, how it works at scale um, while you have, when you look at SRE, 
there'd be like hundreds and thousands of resources ingesting. Uh, so have you addressed the scaling part here? In 24 hours, I haven't. Uh, but uh, it does, we are trusting these other observability, observability systems to deal with that scale. So if a monitor goes off, you're actually just querying those systems. And you know, Datadog, Sentry, they've already, they have it at scale. Like we use, at, at Datadog, there's like, we use a platform that just digests and ingests everything. And really, we're just the, I'm, I'm using them as a query layer, effect. So which model did you use? This is Maverick 14, or yeah, the Maverick one, Llama. Yeah. Can you show us something that got put in the output that kind of like gave you high confidence of how this was performing? I would say, I think what impressed me the most is deciding which like widgets to use. Like for in this case, like based on it queried, you know, the, the consumer lag, it queried like these logs and just deciding to represent those, honestly to me it was just impressive. It's like deciding which widgets to use independently. I, I thought that was cool. Yeah, about the workflow, you said like what to use. Is it an agentic flow or is it like a single prompt and you get the output because like for it, it needs to go over a loop and yeah. decide to stop a loop. Is it a loop or? It's, uh, it's not a loop, it's just a workflow of steps. It's like, hey, do the initial, do these queries. Based on these queries, now with extra context, answer this question. There's no wild true there, it just goes down the list. So uh, arguably, you know, it does tool calling, so is that agentic? I'm gonna say maybe, yeah. Awesome, thank you Team Center RSRE.